Hello and warm welcome to another lesson in the creation of our school management system. In this lesson, we're just going to add the, the VB codes to our user form just to make it functional as we all expect. So let's just dive right into it. And as you know, the form we have just created is that of the student data entry form. So that is that. But then before we go ahead and copy and paste our various lines of codes, let me just draw your attention to something. If you follow this lesson till this up to this stage, there is something I, I would like you to understand. Follow it and follow it perfectly, please. Do not change anything. What is going to happen is this. The codes you're going to copy and paste have been assigned to the way we are setting everything up from the beginning. For instance, if you look at the home uh, sheets, the name of the home sheet is Sheets 1. When we go to the and then the explorer you will see there that of the about is sheet two student details is sheet three teachers details is sheet four so in our codes we have been we, we have assigned sheet three to this student details sheet so if you your your student details is not sheet three then it what it means is that in our codes you have to follow every line of code and change the, the, the name of the sheet to whichever number your sheet is which I advise you have to desist from because in those lines of codes uh, if if you don't know if you don't know the language that is the VB language it means you can't even follow and do what I'm talking about although I'll be showing you some few things you need to know in those lines of codes but then let's try and follow the tutorial the way it is and make sure follow it well and then achieve our set objectives and that is to make sure we get a system up and running on our pcs and that is that and nothing else good so let us go ahead and then begin copying our codes so let's just minimize this and then make sure we are on this stage so like i said if you look at the explorer here you can see sheet one is the home and then uh, the about let's look at the about it's sheet two you can see it here sheet two Let's go to the student details. You can see it's what sheet three. Student details is sheet three, and that of the is sheet four. So that is what our codes have been assigned to. Now let's just go ahead and begin copying and pasting our codes. We are just going to double click on one of these, and then we can copy all the codes and paste in line and line that one and save it, and then debug it, and you see that everything will work perfectly for us. Let's just double click to launch this. So you have this open for let's just clear everything in here and then we begin copying our codes now where are the garden codes like i said i've created this zip um file for you here and then i'll be posting it on the telegram channel yours is to just copy it and or download it sorry just um sip some water download it and then extract it how do we do that if you don't have winra in your system it means yours wouldn't appear like this so i will try as much as possible to also upload when rather if you don't have it you can equally download that one to install it and then you have your file like this on the system just right click it and then you go to extract here so you have it extracted where is it this is it sms vb codes so we just double click to open it we have the codes for the fees user form, login user form, student user form, and then teacher's user form. Here, we're going to deal with that of the student. So we just double click to open it. We have the codes for each and every session, the button, the, the, the add photo button, the close button, the list box, the reset button, the search button, the text box too, and all that. We have assigned some codes for all this. But then, let's just double click to open out of there. Add and save. Control A to copy everything. Please don't just use your mouse to select. Control A does the copying and then control sorry. Control A does the selection of the entire text and then control C you copy. So you can minimize this and we can then go ahead and go back to our user form here or the, 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 the box here and then control V to paste it. So we have our codes up and running. So we can just hit the, the, the enter button the three times to create another space but i'm going to paste another code here so we can close this one let's just go back to our so we come to the second one here control a to copy it controls control a to select control c to copy can just minimize it come into your listen here and then you paste it again 
then space you, you hit the enter key twice or thrice to create more space at the bottom let's go back and then copy the rest so check on this now the third one just control a to select control c to copy and just come in here control v to paste hit the enter thrice to create another space at the bottom let's just close this let's go to the fourth one double click and then let's just uh, select it control c to copy and then we come inside our codes here control v to paste so let's just go ahead and then create space at the bottom by pressing the enter key you can close this check out this and then reset so control a to, to select control c to copy just go ahead and then uh, you can paste it here as well space at the bottom and close this and then go back again search control a to select control c to copy you can minimize it come in here and then control v to paste create space at the bottom you can just go ahead and close this one just go back to our folder select double click to open this control a to select control c to copy and just come into this and then control v to paste another space and then close this as well come back into the folder test box 8 control a to select control c to copy come inside here control v to paste and then we go back close this come in here test box 9 control a to select control c to copy just minimize it come inside here control v to paste now let's come back close this control a to select control c to copy come just minimize it and then come in here and then control v to paste space go back and then go for the last last one user form control a to select control c to copy you minimize this you go ahead and then space and then you paste this as well so we are done let me just try bring you up to speed on some few things and our lines of course before we go ahead and then debug it and see how it works now with this we are just initializing the user form to accept some few instructions with this c you are seeing here is the c drive that is your hard drive and then in this hard drive we are just creating a directory we are creating a, a folder called std data that is the student data so inside this student data there is another folder called photo so that is where the photos we are going to be adding from our students will be stored or is going to be saved when we, we we test it you'll see that now let's come back to these lines of codes here that is for the set the updates let me just check on this now from all this you have no issues here like i said if you want to understand all this you will have to enroll yourself in our complete excel vba uh, what do you call it course and then you'll be able to understand all these things now um let's just check on something here yeah as we are updating everything in case maybe you 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 upload a picture of a student which you think is wrong and then you decide to search for the student as you saw in the demo video and you want to update by changing the the right or the, the correct photo of the, the, the student this is the this these are the lines of course that take, takes care of that if you update it if you change the picture and then you click on update it's going to replace the previous um, picture in the same folder so that is that but that is what is going to happen here so all this sheet three so x y and all that these are the our text boxes we are talking about these text boxes are going to transfer everything to our excel sheet that is what we are seeing here and with this message data updated successfully that is a message box if you update whatever here then you click on update then you have this message data updated successfully and all that so basically these are some of the, like i said if your sheet is not sheet three for the student details so you have to come along all this and change it to what to the sheet number of your sheet let's say it's, it's sheet five you have to edit all the sheet three to what sheet five you can see that it's a whole lot of work when i was naming the option button i named them opt opt2 and then opt1 and all that if you choose to name it differently what it means is you have to come here and edit it to the name you have given so it means we have to follow what is in the video and be able to achieve our set objective so basically that is that we can just go ahead and save this okay let's just debug it run it and we see what's going to happen so in here the first number is ready to 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 be, be taken clear this and then we can give another number okay, it's there now what is going to happen is this 
let us go ahead and start num the, the, the numbers here are auto generated so don't touch them just go ahead and then add students name let's see sorry habib zachary the classes basic one is a male date of birth 10th 9 2000 date of admission 12 12 2008 admission fee is worth 500 ghana cd guardian name is what zakaru sulemana and then address is what zakari street zakari street 67 and then contact we have some random numbers in there and let's add the photo click on this sorry click on this and then it's like our photo code is not running okay we'll fix that it's like the codes that is controlling this is not functioning properly i don't know whether we have added it to our lines of code if not it wouldn't work like i said so let us go ahead and then add what we have just uh, entered so far so let's just click on this and then data added successfully so we have them here but then the photo is not added so let's just check and confirm everything here we can see that everything is working here perfectly without any stress let's just go back and let me confirm that now let me just minimize this let's just check on our excel sheet so we have all the information we have just entered on the sheet here so basically that is that let me quickly go back and see if i can debug this so we have the add photo codes here have we copied this oh okay we have done that and the only problem is this we have to go and edit something in there i've just seen it so let's just go back to our lines of code that's what i'm talking about if you don't understand this then just follow the tutorial the way it is let's just go to our codes by clicking on the user form like this let me just locate the command that button lines of code so please let's just check correctly and get it fixed good our command button is not command seven it's rather command six and i'll show you that so let's change the seven to six let's debug it now good so we are good to go two here is because we we already have an information there for the first student that is what we are seeing here so like i said these numbers are auto generated let's just go ahead and update zachary's photo so you can see the functions of our keys our, our buttons now let's assume what happened is that we have forgotten of zachary's code sorry picture and not wrong coding <laughs> sorry for that so let's just go ahead and search for zachary as the first student so we search for him and then click on sorry oh okay let's just delete this line of code in here sorry for that with this let's just delete it yes let's delete it and then we can go ahead and then control save now I'm pretty sure let's check and then figure another one again and then okay let me check on another one and let's make sure we debug them before because I know what is happening there of this okay let's just check on it uh, that is for search right let's check on update this is update good come to update let's select this me.cmd.delete is equal to a dot visible so you go to false let's select it and please delete it good so we can now save our work and then it will work perfectly good so okay now let's debug our code again so zachary is now searched we search for him we want to update zachary's photo so we click on this now this should pop up so if it if it did not pop up like this then it means you have to browse through you know how to do all those things this shouldn't be a problem so we assume this is zachary then we click on open so we have zachary here so let's just update so we have updated zachary's information so what it means is that um the one we set for zachary let's just check on something set you can see that this add and save button is not going to work because if it's if we should activate it to work what it means that if we should go ahead and click on add it will create a copy of what we have already entered for zachary and that is not what we want so because of that the moment you set for whatever student and his, his or her information appears the add and save button is disabled so that you don't add it to create copy of what you've already entered so yours is to only update so the update key is active for work so that is that let's just go to our c folder which i've just showed you the lines of codes and confirm the presence of zachary's photo in there let's just um, 
close this and then minimize this and all that so let's minimize this let's click on this we'll go to the c drive so this is my c drive inside c drive i need good this is the folder called std data i thought of so you check in your c folder at c drive and you have this so you double click to open it you have another folder which i've showed you in the lines of code just double click it and then you see zachary's picture in there let's go and update zachary's picture and let's see what is going to happen here let's just minimize it let's go back to our codes let's debug this again let's search for zachary so one set for him we're going to update his photo here by changing to this guy's photo so so we click on updates so zachary's information has updated successfully so let's just minimize all this again let's go to that folder again and see something so you can see that the picture has been replaced with this so basically that is how the form is going to work and work perfectly for us so we would like to end this tutorial here so you can test and test and test the form the way you want it and then whatever it is you let us know so we like to end this year and then until our next lesson where we're going to be designing that of the uh, what they call it um teachers user form as well so then i say thank you very much for watching and then bye for now don't forget to save your work bye bye